Welcome back to another episode of the Sports Minute. The NFL schedule has been released for the 2022 season. And let me tell you something. I'm ready for some football. Are you ready for some football? We are a couple of months away from kickoff, but it's never too early to talk about NFL football, right? Of course not. So let's talk about who has the toughest schedules in the NFL. Well, actually, we're going to go with three instead. So number one, I'm taking the Pittsburgh Steelers. They open up the season at Cincinnati. Then you got New England in week two, and you don't know who's going to be a starter yet, either Kenny Pickett or Mitch Trubisky. Please take Kenny Pickett. But it's going to be very tough for Pittsburgh this season. Not to mention, you got to face Tampa Bay week six, and you have to face an improved Raiders team on Christmas Eve. Shh. It's not looking good in Steel City. Number two, I'm going to have to go with the New York Jets. You open up the season against Baltimore, then have to travel to a new and improved identity-filled Cleveland team. Then you have to come back home and welcome the defending AFC champions, the Cincinnati Bengals. Then you have to go to Denver on the 23rd against Russell Wilson and that new and improved Broncos offense. The Jets have already a bad hurdle with the AFC North with the Bills and the Patriots. And now this, yeah, they're going to have some work to do. You drafted well, but we'll have to see how that comes out come football time. And finally, I'm going to go out west, the NFC West, that is. The Arizona Cardinals have the next toughest schedule. You already open up against Patrick Mahomes and that Kansas City team. Then you have the Raiders on the 18th. Then you have that new and improved Saints team on October the 20th. They just signed Tyron Matthew. Yeah, it's going to be hard for the Cardinals. Not to mention you already have the defending Super Bowl champion Rams in your division and the San Francisco 49ers. Well, maybe not so much San Francisco. Depending on what happens with Debo Samuel, you should be okay there. But it's not looking good for you either. But why don't you let me know what you all think in the comments. Continue to like and subscribe. I'm Rico McGee. This has been the Sports Minute. And as always, we'll see you in a minute.